Are you a fan of in-person business networking or do you wonder what all the fuss is about? Have you tried it and just found it uncomfortable and incredibly cliquey? Or do you question how it can really make sense when you have to go and spend two hours in a room with 15 people compared to posting something on LinkedIn in 10 minutes that can get you in front of a thousand? Now, I am actually a huge fan of networking. I host my own group. If you're in the Northwich area, give me a shout and come along. Um, but I am a huge fan of networking in person. It uh, has always been and still remains one of my biggest sources of generating leads and referrals in my business. But I think what a lot of people think is it's just about being in that room and passing referrals and asking for business. Whereas actually in-person networking is about so much more. It has really broad benefits and advantages for you and for your business. So I wanted to share some of those with you today and perhaps just get you thinking a little bit differently about networking. So one of the brilliant advantages of networking is developing your kind of team, your squad, your band of business buddies, um, getting to meet the same group of people on a weekly or fortnightly or monthly basis so that over time you get to really know and understand each other. You've got a group of business people there with a similar mindset facing similar challenges to you who are, can be a brilliant sounding board, a brilliant support network. Uh, they're just kind of those people who've got your back um, and oftentimes friends and family, if they're not in business, they don't really get it. They don't really get the relentless nature of running your own business. And when you can find a group of people who really understand you, who really get you, who are really rooting for you every week and they're searching for business for you, it is just fantastic. So that is probably the number one benefit of networking, even more so than generating leads. That's actually where the biggest value comes from. Um, the second benefit, though, is it's a really good opportunity to test your message, to talk about your business and to have to do that in a really succinct, compact, articulate, convincing way. It's a great way to test that message. How good are you at explaining what you do and explaining that? really briefly in 60 seconds or 90 seconds or two minutes so that people can totally understand what you do. They get that message about who you help and how you help them and you actually become really easy to refer business to. But in getting that test of your message, that also gives you feedback so that when you are networking online or when you're marketing in different ways, you've got that understanding about whether your message really resonates and connects with people and which parts of your message people really do like and appreciate. So it's a brilliant way of really helping you position your business and explain what you do very well. And that will spread right across your marketing. Um, the third advantage is, and this is almost a, a reverse advantage of networking, is you get the opportunity to build a team of trusted advisors for both yourself and your clients. So one of the absolute benefits for me of networking is that a client can almost always come to me and say, who do I need? Who do I need to speak to if I need a new logo, if I need to manage my finances better, if I need some new insurance, if I'm looking for merch for my business, if I need HR support. But they can even come to me when they want to know a plumber, a gas man, uh, somebody to build you an extension. That's the incredible power of networking is that you're never at a loss for who is the right person to go to when you need something new for your business or something new for your house, your garden, your car, your who knows what. And that, um, that confidence that you always know somebody that is trusted and recommended and really good at what they do when you need to hire somebody is absolutely worth its weight in gold. Um, and the final benefit, I mean, I say the final benefit, there's actually a bazillion, but the final one I'm going to talk about today is the opportunity to learn. So when you get to sit through presentations of other people and you do this with an open mind because you're not sitting there thinking, where's my next business coming from? But when you keep your mind open, then you hear other people's presentations and you get to hear 
all about different businesses and different industries. You get to hear a financial advisor talking to you about different investment products or different pension pots. Uh, you might get to hear a mortgage broker talk about what's an equity release mortgage and what's the truth of it. You get to hear a graphic designer talk about how best to lay out a leaflet or what different colours mean. And you get to hear things like accountants talking about the five most important things to measure in your business. So the learning that you can pick up in that environment is also phenomenally powerful for your business. So as you can tell, I am a mahoosive fan of in-person networking. I think the benefits are huge and very widespread, so much more than a lot of people think. A couple of tips I would give you are, don't be afraid to go and test out lots of different groups, especially if you're quite new to networking. You really want to find a group that fits with you, that matches your energy, that matches your personality, that matches your general attitude to doing business. And sometimes that might be a group that's really quite expensive and it might be a global or a national franchise. Sometimes it might be a small local one or it might be a local chamber or something like that. There is no one size fits all answer to this. It's just about finding the one that really feels comfortable and productive to you because it does have to generate business for you at the end of the day it's not just about going along and having a jolly and building up your friendships um, the key thing i would say though is for networking to work you do need to really commit to it so you really need to go and join a group and see those same people very regularly because that's where you build those really deep really rewarding and really supportive relationships so that's how it absolutely works best if you need more advice about networking i am a networking guru and mine of information so get in touch with me via my website taylory.co.uk